Hello, my name is Martin Hink. I'm 52 years old. I live in Mannheim and I'm here because I'm responsible together with my team for the e-truck ecosystem. We take care to all the questions which our customers have beyond the e-truck. So we try to find answers for all questions related to how do I run a truck? How do I maintain an e-truck? And what is my perspective on the e-truck? Because at the end, the magic formula is having the right truck, which is delivered by our engineers, having the right infrastructure at my depot or on the route, and having the right cost set up for making the operations effective. As well for our, as for our customers, it was also new for me, the topic electric trucks. Uh, there are a lot of questions. That's why we have in my team a consulting team. What is a really important topic is uh, the cost of running an e-truck. Uh, and you have to consider that the cost of the e-truck is mainly driven by the cost of the energy. So it's really extremely important that the customer makes the right choice where he charges his e-truck. Whether he charges it at home in his depot, so the setup has to be perfect. Uh, or when he's driving out and needs to charge our wood while driving or while stopping, or when he goes to customer and loads or unloads. And the best setup possible is to charge as much as possible at home. That's why we, together with our customers, make when we do consulting a route analysis. So where does he start and where does he end his route and what is the perfect setup for charging there? Is there really a charging needed on the road? How can we avoid that he needs to charge on the road? And if he needs to charge, how to find the best partner where he can charge in the best way possible and in the most cost-effective way. Uh, when he really has his own depot, we consult the customer and help him to find here the best energy setup by thinking about, oh, maybe it makes sense to make a solar panel on my roof and to have some energy from there. And to think about, okay, if I have a lot of energy, can I store it and where can I store the energy at my depot at the right time? Because normally, as you can imagine, trucks, e-trucks are running the whole day, coming home the night, and then they, suddenly they need at the night all to be charged. That can lead to problems. That's why energy storage makes very much sense. And everything is always based on the grid connection. So it's really the energy uh, coming to my depot uh, in the right moment. All these questions which I uh, described right now uh, need a lot of time to answer to. So every customer who thinks now to buy an A-truck needs to consider not only the truck but also his infrastructure and what is uh, decisive for his cost. And normally including the whole process that takes 12 to 15 months so if, if you consider to run an e-truck in 15 months, you need to start now to prepare yourself uh, and to prepare the infrastructure at your home or en route. We also test the chargers. So we take several chargers which are in the market and we make sure that these chargers can talk to our e-trucks. Because there's nothing worse when the truck is not loading to start the ping pong questions. Now you can imagine when it comes to questions to the customers, Sitting down at the table, you will not find every answer to every, every question. That's why we have the energy park in Word, where we really can show to the customers how to charge and how different charger types uh, can work and can operate. That's really amazing and, and that's really good to have a common base for conversation with the customers and show them real life use cases. We are right now focusing a lot on the new electric long haul truck which is coming soon and we are of course part of the solution out of the ecosystem for making sure also for the long haul electric truck that he can run at the best operations possible for our customers. And if I say that, that's meaning the ecosystem. Mercedes-Benz. Trucks you can trust.